Once upon a time, there was a girl with no heart who worked as a scavenger in the wasteland. She collected all scraps of metal and iron and traded them for food. All the scavengers in the wasteland have no hearts, making it a prized possession if they see one. If I can only find a heart, I will be out of this wasteland and go to the city, said the girl. A heart is a ticket out of this mess, said another scavenger who spent 90 years of his dear life looking for one but always failed. I don't want to spend 90 years of my life in here, said the girl. Little do they know of the city. It is a giant pile of pale people and flying cars and super skyscrapers. No one sleeps in the city. Everyone is working. And the most terrible of all, people sell their hearts to a giant factory which breaks, melts, and transforms these hearts into sandal heels. They have no use of their hearts because they have work and that is all that matters. Once upon a time, too, there was a boy with a heart who didn't know what to use it for. He has work and that is all that matters. One day, the boy decided to sell his heart to the giant factory where he hoped it will be broken, melted, and transformed into a sandal heel. The boy didn't feel anything and went on with his work. The truth, however, was that the boy's heart wasn't broken, melted, and transformed into a sandal heel. It was dropped in the process, picked up by the garbage truck, and thrown away in the wasteland where the girl found it at last. With this heart, I can get out of here and go to the city, said the girl. And so she went, and to her surprise, it is just a giant pile of pale people and flying cars and super skyscrapers, said the girl. But she went on and walked until she caught glance of the boy among the pile of pale people. Why am I feeling like this? asked the girl to herself. She looked at the boy, but he was looking down, like the rest of the people around him. The girl followed him to his work and felt that something must be wrong. My heart is telling me to talk to him, but I don't know why, the girl said. And so the boy finished his work and went out, where the girl waited for a chance to talk. Excuse me? said the girl. Yes. The boy replied, My heart is telling me to talk to you, but I don't know why. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know myself too. Well, I better go. I still have work tomorrow. What do you think this could be? I don't know. I can't feel what you feel. I sold my heart to the giant factory. What? Why would you do that? Everyone does. And so the boy left. I thought, Finding this heart will bring me joy, said the girl. She wandered around the city with a heavy heart until she found a hill with a little flower on top of it. This must be the only beautiful place in the city, said the girl. Yes, it is, a voice replied. Who's that? I'm up here. It was an eagle flying above the girl. I was following you all the way up here, and I can't help but notice that you are sad, said the eagle. Yes, I am, said the girl. My heart is telling me to talk to a boy, and I don't know why. Do you know why that could be? Well, your heart can only do one thing, and that is to love. So, you must be in love, said the eagle. Is that so? I don't know what love is. I just found this heart a while ago. The girl replied. You are in love, little one, said the eagle. What should I do? He said he can't feel what I feel because he already sold his heart to the giant factory. I know of someone who can fix all things. He lives up there in the mountains. Everyone calls him the mechanic. 
Though I must warn you, little one, your journey will not be easy. I will never be at peace unless I know why I feel this way. Then I wish you luck. The eagle flew way up in the skies and disappeared. The girl went back to the city and found the boy. Excuse me? Oh, it's you again. Someone said that what I feel is love. And that someone also said that someone else knows how to fix it. I knew love, but that was a long time ago when I still had my heart. I need you to come with me. There in the mountains where the mechanic lives. But I have work. You can skip it. I can't skip work. Of course, you can. You sold your heart. You can skip work. Wait. And so the girl and the boy started their journey. They went through the forest of the floating fives, then through the valley of the weird voices, then through the tomb of the giant thumb. After barely escaping being flattened by the thumb, the girl and the boy arrived at the mechanic's home, which was quite small for a mechanic. Welcome, a voice said. The eagle said you'd be here. What can I be of service to you, young ones? The mechanic got out of the door. Y you're a girl? The boy asked. Of course I am. I am the mechanic. She replied. I am once a scavenger of the wasteland and found a heart which brought me to the city where I found him and feel something that I do not know. The eagle said to me that it must be love. The girl said, Of course it is love. Hearts only work for that purpose. The mechanic replied, Can you help us? We need answers. He can't feel what I feel because he already sold his heart to the giant factory. Of course I can, said the mechanic. It's very simple. I can split up your heart and give the other half to him. That's absurd, said the boy. Love is absurd, the mechanic replied. You can't do that, the girl asked. Of course I can, young one. I will fix your heart in no time. And so the mechanic started her work. Days and nights have passed until one day she woke up the girl and the boy. It's done, the mechanic said. It feels strange, the girl said. It is the same feeling as before, but now I know why. It feels strange too, the boy said. I never felt this way before. It was quite a long time ago when people called it what it is, young ones. Love, the mechanic said. The girl and the boy thanked the mechanic and started their journey back to the city. They went through the tomb of the giant thumb, then through the valley of the weird voices, then through the forest of the floating fives, and then they arrived at the city. The boy stopped for a moment. I know what I feel now. It is love. But I only have half a heart, so I can't fully love you. The boy said. So have I, the girl said. Isn't it beautiful? You will feel my emptiness, and I will feel yours. What you lock, I provide. And you will do the same to me. You have my heart, and I have yours. Teacher, teacher, unsay na hitabo sa mechanic? Ah, ang mechanic? Nahibawan niya nga daghan pang tao ang nanginanglan sa iyang tabang. So, she devoted the rest of her life to fixing hearts.
I am there 